Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to American Life Farming. It's finally here, the harvesting season for soybeans. It's upon us. It's mid-autumn, mid-fall, so we started harvesting our soybeans. We started with field 10, then we're gonna move over to field 12. We're gonna get rid of the smaller fields, then we're gonna take care of the big fields that we own. And we managed to create a few hay bales for some reason just the outside of the field, the edges of the field got turned from grass into hay. Let me show you guys real quick. So this is how hay looks like and we still have grass right here here in the middle of the field for some reason I'm just waiting on this to turn we managed to create a few hay bales let's see it shows up hay but then the menu disappeared for some reason but you guys see that we have hay bales just a few I don't know, I have no idea how much grass we're gonna lose if we keep leaving it here. I just did it once more, still the turn for that grass, this grass here on the sides of the field to turn into hay. I just spent the night, that's why we're on the morning of day three in mid fall. But we're gonna let that grass turn into hay, I'm not gonna tear it again. I'm gonna leave it like it is, like I said, I have no idea how much we're gonna lose because we're playing with seasons, so grass will be rotten and will disappear, but it doesn't matter, I don't think we're gonna lose that much, and we lost on our previous episode, if you saw that, we lost all the grass, the grass base that we had. So, better to have just a few hay bales than just create grass bales and lose all of them. We don't have what to do with the grass bales, so we need all that to be hay, so we don't have to buy hay anymore for our TMR. But let us just worry about harvesting soybeans for now. We'll worry about grass or hay bales later on. For now, the most important part is to obviously clear our fields, harvest all the soybeans. For some reason, there's quite a lot of patches that we have in our fields that looks like the soybeans, it's withered. I don't know why so many patches. I did play with seasons before and I don't remember being this bad, like look at this, withered, 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 harvested, we have some parts in the middle of the field, obviously we didn't go in the middle and harvested those pieces of the field, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna hurry up and harvest what we can. Hopefully we're gonna be able to make a decent amount of money out of all the soybeans that we're gonna have. For next year we're gonna have sunflower. We're gonna see how much that is gonna bring us, how much money it's gonna bring us. But for now, let's just finish this field, finish all the fields. Obviously, we're not going to be able to finish all of them today. But we're going to finish at least these two small fields. Hopefully, we're going to move into a bigger one by night time. But like I said, let's just worry about harvesting and not something else. I haven't even looked at the contract to see if there's any decent contract that it's worth doing. I thought that there's grass here, but 
I was wrong, this is how the grass ground looks like, ground covered in grass, that's how it looks like. For now I think the best option, the best choice will be to start GPS. So let's do that and keep on harvesting our fields. Let's see, looks like we're heading 21 degrees. 19, 18, let's go with 18. Let's see how that looks like. It's still not going great. Let's look at the lines, see where we're going, set the width or the combine, and it wants to go this way, that means we're going to harvest this small piece that we didn't harvest yet, we're going to fix that just now, let me get rid of the lines first, we don't need them anymore. So let's take care of this piece right here. I don't want it to I don't want to finish the entire field and forget about this. Obviously we wouldn't miss that much, but I don't wanna leave anything unharvested. Alright, just a little bit longer. And we'll finish this field, like I said, and then we're gonna move into field 12. Maybe I should go... No, I think we have enough space to turn our combine. So we don't have to worry about any more headland passes, this should be good enough. I'll just keep working on this field and I'll see you guys once we're finished. Alright, I just finished field 10 and we got from that 21,551 liters, which is obviously not much, but that's fine. So let's jump back into our combine, move it over to field 12. I'm still waiting for the grass on field 10 to not, sorry, not field 10, field 11. I just crash into that stop, that sign. So let me go around. We're gonna cut through our field. I can do that. It's harvested. We do have quite a lot of patches that were just withered. I don't know if that's usually the case with seasons. I did play with seasons before, but I didn't add this many pieces, bits of the field that were not harvested, or rather, I mean, not being able to be harvested. Let's see how GPS is going to lead us on this field. We had it set up from field 10. Looks like we're doing quite fine for now. It's going to go off to the right just a little bit. So maybe just let me stop it for a bit. We're going to have the line showed up so I know how much do I need to move them to our left so let's see here I don't think he's doing anything I know it should so let me just try again yep now they're moving so we're gonna be able to follow the edge of the field, hopefully. Alright, let's try that again. It should be better now. I know we were not missing much on the side of the field right here, but 
it was going just way a lot more to the right if we were just to keep on driving it looks better now it's gonna I think gonna go inside the field just a little bit more and maybe not maybe it's gonna go the way I want it to so we don't have any kind of soybeans in our silo so we're gonna see at the end how much we managed to harvest from all our fields I'm curious about that the price on soybeans is really low this time of the year so we're gonna wait until summer day three summer time we're gonna sell them which means we're gonna have to kind of wait almost an entire year to be able to sell our soybeans but it's fine we're doing fine on the money at the moment we're just decent to be honest because obviously we cannot buy any more fields i'm gonna take a look at some fields some of the prices maybe we can take a loan and buy more fields and we had a contract on our previous episode i think it was on field 15 harvesting 3d kale so let's take a look if i can find it real quick we got left 19,157 liters after finishing that contract I do believe the best price on 3TK is in the winter. Let me just double check. No, actually, we could sell it today or maybe wait till day 3 in the winter time. Sell that. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But we're not gonna worry about selling just now because obviously we're quite busy and looks like our grass just refuses to turn into hay we're gonna give it some more time i don't think using the tether is gonna make much of a difference so we'll just wait i did tear it a few times but I did tear the entire field and we just have the edges of the field that were turned into hay so I'm just gonna wait hopefully it's gonna get turned into hay pretty soon because we do have our baler that is list and we're paying for how long we're gonna be keeping it so that's a shame we're gonna lose some money but it's not gonna be all that much money that we're gonna lose so for now the biggest concern is harvesting all our fields because obviously the weather might change if it's gonna start raining we're not gonna be able to harvest anything so hopefully it's gonna be clear no rain no nothing until we finish harvesting but let me finish this field and i'll see you guys after we are done before moving to field 13 all right we just finished field 12 as well now we're looking at the screen we're gonna see how much soybeans we made out of these two fields then we're gonna jump into our combine and move over at field 39 we're gonna start with that then we're gonna move with 38 and 13 because these two fields come together and i've looked at these three fields in precision farming and were not looking that great maybe because we had grass on field 11 i have no idea but i'm just 
gonna check on field 39 that's why I want to start with field 39 first then we're gonna worry about the other two fields hopefully we're gonna look better than what we're looking on these two fields and we made 40,582 liters let me just stop the engine move into our combine hopefully we can drive it like it is without detaching the header and attach it on the back of the combine I just hope we're not gonna crash into any cars I'm just gonna drive on the side of the road like we are right now Alright, looks like we will be able to squeeze into here without crashing into the traffic cars now we can just jump onto this field and I'm gonna do a headland pass first then we're gonna set the regular base worker on this field after we clear the headland first because I just don't want to start course play just now and I just want to have a worker because there's a few things I want to do first not first but next obviously I keep on checking on field 11 to see if that glass is going to turn into hay at any point if it does, we're gonna turn the hay into hay bales so we can return the baler so we don't pay anymore for keep on it list. That's the plan anyway. And obviously we're gonna keep on driving our tractor with the trailer back and forth to the silo so we can unload I'm gonna keep on looking at the contract see if anything is changing I was thinking about doing these three contracts one in field 37 one in field 33 and the other the third one in field 43 we do have for now all our three tractors that are sitting around doing nothing so that maybe we can spare one to just hook up the cultivator and do a cultivating job because otherwise our tractors are just sitting around and we could be using one to earn some more money Looking at some fields, I really wanted to buy field 41, it's close by, it comes attached with field 19, but it does cost a lot of money. We don't have this kind of money at the moment, and the expected yield potential in precision farming is at negative 92. That means the yield is not going to be that great. So maybe we we'll look at some fields further away. They're not looking all that great in expected yield potential. 33 and 35 comes together and they're over a million. So maybe we wait until next year see how much money we're going to make out of all the soybeans and decide then what field we can or what field we afford to buy but for now let me finish this headland passage well i'm not gonna go back as soon as we reach that corner of the field i'm gonna set a worker hopefully it's gonna follow the edge of the field it should be a square a, a straight line so hopefully it's not gonna be running into any issues 
that will give us the chest maybe accept the contract drive over at the field let's see i know there's a job on field 37 and see what it's sewing out so maybe we can do that job first before we start a cultivating job But for now let's see if we drive just a little bit more and set a worker let's see how straight or how well he's gonna do he's gonna go looks like he is following so far the edge of the field maybe he's just going way over the left side i think it is safe to leave it for now check on that driver later on and see if it's gonna crash into anything or it's gonna be, be able to do the job like i said we are on 40,582 liters of soybeans from both fields that we just harvested let's put this into our silo and filter the seven why not let's accept that job we have one tractor that it's just sitting around it is the one that we have on field 11 waiting for the grass to turn into hay First I'm going to drive this John Deere at field 39, so it's there whenever we need to unload the combine. Then we're going to jump into our other John Deere and unhook the baler, hook the seeder and head on over to field 37, we can just send it on its own over at that field because we do have a network in auto drive that allow us to reach the field without us being in the tractor and looks like that's still grass looks like it's gonna take a while so let's head on over back at the farm hook up the cedar make sure we refill the cedar before we send it away uh, I do remember it's on the shed where we did place our bales so we still have two silage bales, two hay bales and five straw bales I believe and that's the silver right here. Let's fill this up. Yep, 21% full it says. That's not gonna be enough. Let's make sure we refill. Then we're gonna send this silver on its own back over at field 37. And Alright, let's see. It's fine that the cedar is not using any fertilizer, so we don't have to worry about that. We just paid $1,101 for the seeds. We're gonna get reimbursed for that, so that's no issue. For now, let's go with field 37. I really need to put all of these in folders. So we know which folder is for fields, cell points and farms and all of that. But I will do that later on, not worry about this just at a moment. Let's take a look at the field. Still grass. So yeah, looks like it's gonna take a while. For now we cannot unload the combine we're going to destroy some crops if we drive 
next to it so we're gonna leave it maybe it's not gonna be completely full by the time it reaches to the end of the field then coming back so let's just jump into our tractor drive over at the other side of the field let's see let's not crash into any cars like i said a lot of bits and pieces on the field that are just withered for some reason this looks like quite a lot maybe that's how it is in season maybe there's just something with this map that it adds more than i was used to no idea We're looking good, we're at 82% full on the harvester, so it will drive back uh, towards the other side of the field so we can unload without driving into our crops. That's a weird way of turning the combine. Off we go, so let's start unloading the combine, then probably by the time we finish unloading our other John Deere, we'll reach field 37, so we'll jump on that, start that contract, make some more money. Like I said, we're looking pretty decent on money, we are at $232,000. And it is pretty decent, but it's not enough for what we need moving forward, which will be buying more fields. And obviously, if we keep on buying more fields, we're gonna need to buy more equipment as well. But for now, our tractor made it to field 37. We have a message pop up on the top of the screen so let's unload the combine perfect start the engine on this tractor we're looking at 21,729 liters so far we're looking good let's see what precision farming is saying 62 2000 maybe we're still looking or oh, not that great we'll see in the end what I'm gonna say for now let me just start this job and I'll see you guys when we are done all right then we are back we are about to finish well not long until we're gonna finish field 39 we did finish the job in field 37 so let's get paid eight thousand two hundred and sixty six dollars and we just crashed into that big ass truck truck right there at least we didn't get thrown into our own field so we didn't destroy any crops and we are at sixty thousand liters of soybeans in our trailer which is great yeah the trailer is full obviously we are looking at 18,000 more in the combine it's still going it's not gonna go for long but we are probably looking at 20,000 liters more from the combine but anyways guys we're gonna pick things up on our next episode it's time to end this one right here again thank you so much for watching and all the support you are showing to this channel i hope you like the video and if you do please consider subscribing 
and I will see you guys in our next episode.